Hey guys, this is your friendly babbling comic book reviewer, Christopher Sarda, on his little channel called Chaos and Comics. Today I want to talk to you about Lady Mechanica. This is Lady Mechanica, Sangre number two. Um, this is a book I mentioned for part one. This is a book that I, I'd, for a long time, I'd been wanting to read and never just picked it up. So a new mini series starts, starts with number one, I decided to buy it. And uh, after two issues, I'm really, really happy with it, although I might not have the, the same feel for the book that I should if I would have done uh, Joe Benitez's work. So let's start real quick with who Lady Mechanica is. It is a steampunk story. Uh, surprisingly few of those, only especially like traditional stream, steampunk, surprisingly few of those in comics today. Uh, so it has that Victorian feel with uh, you know a lot of like mechanics essentially. Um, Lady Mechanica is a detective, essentially, with, um, with, with robot parts. So, I don't want to say cyborg, but sort of like a steampunk cyborg, I guess. Um, but, you know, no, no cybernetic in the head, really. But she is a great detective. And that's probably what stands out most about issue number two. If you remember, you know, detective comics... At times, it, it goes on long stretches where it is a detective book where Batman is solving crimes and whatnot, and then there's action because it's a comic book. That's what this feels like. So it's a detective book you know, set in... It, this one happens to be set in Spain, but she's English. Uh, I know the free comic book day one I, I uh, bought was set in, um, in like Me Mexico, Aztec kind of thing. So it uh, made me... That's what made me really get onto it, like seem really cool. This one also has some New World stuff mixed in. So all this mixes together just makes a really good book. Um, the thing I wanted to point out is that this is my first time in a full arc for Lady Mechanica, and I'm actually getting art in the main story by uh, an artist named Brian Ching, who, um, you know, who has some good uh, references. He's done Star Wars and Conan the Avenger, Supergirl, so... As some good references, I was just not familiar with them. So I'm not sure that um, I, I would I'll probably buy the trade paperback so I can control the, so I can do the art style. In the back, in his interview, you know, he says he created a much more, a much more th uh, thin lady mechanica. That's his style. I'm trying to find the best example of that. There's her with her jacket still on. Um, that... Uh, he didn't want to copy Joe Benitez at all. I'm sure Joe Benitez is happy about that. Here's the real lengthy look where she's running upstairs here at the end. Um, you can see her holding the guns and, you know, the, the mechanics are very low key. You don't really, really see them. That could easily, if you didn't know, that could easily just be um, like some kind of uh, wardrobe or something. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, Benitez actually does draw the, the prologue here, which is set... Um, I'm not sure if they're Incan or Mayan, but it is Native Americans in Mexico or, or more south. So he actually draws the prologue here, but it's, it's really hard to compare art in this case because it's jungle and it's a family running away. And um, whatever the monster is in this um, seems to have happened then uh, and happened over in Spain. To be honest, I'm not sure if these happen are happening concurrently or if one's in the past. It's real, I guess it's... I guess it could be concurrently because obviously it's Victorian age. So, I mean, overall, I'm just really... Who, who looks like this? Who draws like this? Is that... That's not like a Capullo drawing. Who am I thinking of? Like this... Brian Ching has a style that's really close to someone and I couldn't... I can't put my finger on it. Um, I guess it doesn't have that soup, that more cartoony look that Capullo sometimes have. So it's hard for me to say, but I really enjoy the book overall. Um, Joe Benitez wrote, uh, well, M.M. Chen and Joe Benitez wrote this. It looks, I think I read that Brian Ching is writing uh, issue number uh, three. I might be wrong about that, but just really enjoyable overall. Um, just that right mix, too, of, you know, detective work and action uh, that just makes this fun. And then plus the setting is just exciting. And I think that's one of the things that drives me in because there's a, a lot of different settings in these mini series, one of them, of course, being Day of the Dead, which I which I mentioned earlier. So um, this is something I'm going to be always looking out for. I'll probably just count myself a fan of Lady Mechanica. I think it's just a real, just solid, fun, interesting comic book that um, you know that mixes it up a little and uh, and brings us that 
kind of a superhero we want. Thank you guys for watching Chaos and Comics. Have a great day.